We're in the garage today, me and my wife. She decided she wanted to do a little project. We have some old lath boards here. You will not see me do much work with wood. I don't like working with wood, but it's my wife. I have to. So these uh, lath boards were tearing out of an old house. Uh, my son bought a house and we uh, tore all the walls out and, and there's tons of these things. So she wanted to make some stars out of them. She wants to give them away to the uh, daughter-in-laws. So we're going to make some of these stars. We'll show you how we made them. Not much to them. Just cut a few pieces of wood. So what we're going to do, we're going to cut some of these. Um, I don't know exactly how long they are, but we'll measure them just to find out. That way you can have an idea yourself. 16 inches. We're going to cut. It takes five of these to make one star. So we need five. Cut them off. We just uh, clamped them in a vise and we'll cut all five of them off at one time. We don't uh, want to play around with this stuff. Okay, we got five of them. That's a whole star. What we'll do, we'll bring them over here, lay them down. Put them on our table. They're a little confusing. You have to watch. You're going to lay them out the same way this star is here. I'll try to give you a better view of that star when we get going here. So our first one, I'm going to lay this direction. My second one, I'm going to lay right here. What I did is I took a nail gun and I just put one nail in the middle. So I can still bend this thing and make a star out of it. So my next one's going to go over here, set on top of here, like this. Getting a good shot there. Okay. And I just copy off this star. I made one and I just keep going off this one. This is my next one. One nail on each one of them. And then we got one more. It'll go on the top right here. So we'll get this in there. Then. then what we'll do is I'll set it on top of this star and I'll bend it in the shape that that star is there. That's why I didn't put the nails in, a whole bunch of the nails in at one time. Now mind you, they don't have to be perfect. They just gotta look like a, a star. That looks good to me. So what I'll do is come here. Now here again, each one of these corners, I'll put one more nail in it, and then uh, I'll uh, put two in each one of these. Now, it ain't going to move now. Then you got a star, good looking star. We might stain these or uh, paint them or whatever you want to do with them. We're going to make a couple different size ones. So as soon as we get a few of these done, We'll uh, turn the camera back on and give you a view of them. Get them done up. Okay, we got three sizes. My wife wasn't happy with one size. She had to have three different size stars. So we got the big one, and then we got that one and this one. So we're going to make too many of these. So uh, we got all the little ones made. We're going to make a bunch of, I guess, the medium-sized ones, right? The medium we'll one? We'll do the big ones first. Oh, we're going to do the big ones. Yeah, and then if so, we have any smaller pieces, we could use them for the other ones. Okay, so we got our stars. We got three different sizes here. Not hard to make. Just lay one out on the table and get one first. Once you get one first, you're going to have a gap in these smaller ones. You can see that gap right there. There's a gap in here. But there will be one of them with a gap. I know I've seen where some people put a, a spacer in there, but eh, it ain't going to hurt anything. Now the big ones, they'll, they'll pinch together because they're longer. And the longer the wood is, the more give it has. So this one has a gap. The two small ones are going to have gaps in them. But uh, I think if you stain these up, maybe did a whitewash, like uh, some red, white, and blue would look pretty good. And uh, we're going to put some little hangers on the back of them, just little eye hooks on them. That way they'll have something to hang them up with. Hey, thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to subscribe.